This town in Hama is part of the last rebel-held stronghold in Syria. This is what the Syrian regime's scorched earth policy looks like. Entire communities razed to the ground. An estimated 25,000 civilians used to live here. Now we're told it's just a few thousand. They include Abdul Rezik Khalid and his family, who now make use of the caves in the area for their survival when regime attacks happen. The difficulties here are in our basic needs. For example, cooking meals and water. These are difficult things for us. But we have dug these caves in rocks. If bombing happens, we get inside. And when bombing stops, we get outside to breathe the open air. And these are the men holding this territory against the regime. Well, this is it. This is the front line. And we're about, well, we are as far south in Syria as you can go in opposition held territory. And we're here in the Jaish al trenches. Let's just uh, take you down here. And we've got to be careful because it's just a couple of kilometers and it's just over here that you've got the regime held territory. So you can see just how close these front lines still are here in Syria. It's incredibly close. There's signs of regime attacks everywhere. Soldiers tell us this empty casing released white phosphorus here. We asked the commander of this brigade about the deal reached in Sochi. We don't have the exact details, but any withdrawal of heavy arms should be happening simultaneously with the regime. When we pull our heavy artillery back one kilometer, the regime should match it. We will be cautious about this, but we are interested in one issue only. What comes next? If the borders stay where they are now, we wouldn't accept that. We travel to Jizr al shugur southwest of the Idlib front line. And a Free Syrian Army group there say they also haven't heard details of the Sochi deal. We are on guard and we almost hope the regime would make a mistake and attack us because we have a surprise for them. So we wish the regime would go ahead and do what it planned. Few rebel-held areas are left in Syria, but these fighters' belief in their revolution remains unwavering. There's a saying coined after the revolution that the soldiers say to each other, Bin Nasser for the win. Sarah Firth, TRT World, Syria.